Hello everyone. I hope you have some fresh popcorn and your favorite beverage. That's right. It's time for another episode of Informer Web Reporting TV. This time we'll be taking a look just at the front page, the report dashboard if you will, just to show some of the functionality we implemented to make it easy for you to find the report you need. Let's log in. So at login I'm presented with the list of all the reports in the system that my user is allowed to see. If I don't have the appropriate security permissions to view a report, that report will not display in the list upon login for me. So although you may have thousands of reports in your implementation, if a user is only allowed access to 10 of those reports, of course they will only see those 10 reports. Uh, that's also important here in the filter reports bar because what we have here is a list of favorites, a list of data sources, and a list of tags um, together with a list with, with a count for each of these. Now these counts are related again to only the reports I can see. So there may be thousands of reports built against the demo U2 data source, but my user can only see 23 of them. So that's why the 23 count shows up there. If I click on it, I'm displayed are the 23 reports which fit that data source filter. Now tags are a new concept in 4.0 um, in 3x and earlier versions of Informer, we used categories. Um, we put those away in favor of tags for 4.0, uh, and if you did a conversion from an older version of Informer, you probably noticed that your categories turned into tags by default. So, uh, if I want to see just accounts receivable reports, I can click on that tag and then I'm displaying only those reports which are tagged with the value accounts receivable. If I want to see only the home reports, I can click on the home tag and see only the home reports. Now, as for tag management, it's very useful to bulk edit um, tags for example, let's say that I, I want all of these reports to also contain the tag default reports, for example. So I click on the bottom one, hold down the shift button, click on the top one, all of the items are selected, which makes this unselected report select box active. Hold down and say manage tags. So I want all of these tags to contain default reports and I click add tag. So now all of these reports now have the default reports tag. If I go here I can see that they're all listed here. I have this new label for this tag. Now if I want to also remove the home tag from these I do the same. Click on manage tags and remove the home tag. If I just type a letter, Informer will auto-suggest for me from the list of existing tags. So remove the tag home from these. Tag home removed from selected reports. And you'll see now the home tag is no longer listed here because I'm not allowed to see any reports which have that tag because I just removed it from all of the reports that previously had it. So that's one simple way to bulk edit or manage the tags for multiple reports. You can also add tags in the details screen of a report. This report has two tags, default reports and student reports. And I can remove the student reports tag and add YouTube tag. 
save and close. And now this report will display uh, when a user who's allowed to see it chooses the YouTube tag from the dashboard. So the way that we have to manipulate what reports show in this list are choose to, sh to display from a specific data source. And notice that when I display from a data source, it affects the report count below. So now, out of the 127 reports in the Informer 321 data account, here are the tags that make up those reports. There are four reports with the tag action item reports, which exist inside the Informer 321 data source. Now, other interesting things you can do to manipulate this list are search for reports. This will search the report titles um, in real time as you type. So if I type Y, only reports with the letter Y in them will come up. YouTube, you've seen me do this in a few other episodes. There's also World will bring up any report that has the string WOR somewhere in the title. So quick filtering of reports with the search bar and then additional filtering by set using the filter reports column on the left. Um, there is also the concept of favorites. So we know, we recognize that a lot of our installations have many, many, many reports and sometimes, you know, you want quick access to the ones that you execute frequently. Um, and that's why we implemented favorites. So you can simply click an uncolored star to add a report to your favorite set. Now this is your personal favorites. Um, everybody has their own favorites. If I click on favorites, then only those items which I've designated as being my favorite display in the list. Those are 19. You can then further sort by when they were last executed, who was the creator of the report, or by title. So I hope you've learned a little bit about how to use the functionality on the report dashboard to manipulate the list of reports which display in the listing and allowing you to quickly and easily find the report you'd like to execute. Thanks for watching.